Hello YouTube. I'm here today to show you my finally functional AR-15. I've been planning this build for about a year now and uh, I've been deployed overseas so all these parts have been getting sent to my home and I have not been able to touch them until I got home. So here I am finally home finally got to put my rifle together and I'm super excited you should be too because I'm excited so you should be excited but yeah here it is I'll show it to you um just a cheap little uh, Brownells case I uh, I might get another one but this one seems to do the job got a few accessories on it mag case um, little side pocket came with it um, Leatherman, it's, I don't know, stupid stupid spot to put it, but it works. Uh, cleaning case, courtesy of Uncle Sam. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here's a rifle. What we have here is the, um, this is a Sig Sauer, U, I believe it's UA, yeah, UA 516 upper. If you can see right there, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it says Sig Sauer there. I don't know. It's it's kind of dark, but um, DPMS Panther Arms lower. Uh, I got it stripped, so pretty much I, uh, as you all know, strip means you got to put everything together yourself. I got to. Just a uh, strip lower kit from Brownells. It, it's kind of shitty, but, you know, what can you do? Maybe I'll replace a few parts a little later. Um, let's see, as far as accessories go, I've got the uh, UBR Magpul buttstock. I like it so far. It's much better than your standard M4 buttstock. It's a, no rattle. I mean, even when you pull it out. There's no rattle to it at all. It's solid. Um, got the made pistol grip on there. I like it. I mean, I have it on the uh, the biggest setting that you can have it on. I think it's comfortable for me. I just like it. It's a heavy weapon, so I like something nice and big to hold on to. No gay jokes. Um, I have this 20-round uh, PMAG. Empty, of course, safety first. Um, I also have a few of the windowed 30 round mags, P mags. And of course, you can tell I did everything in dark earth, but you know, don't call me a fag for having a two tone weapon. It's my weapon, it's not yours. Deal with it. Alright, what else? I got the uh, Troy Industries. Um, fuck, I can't remember the name of this here foregrip but I like it because it's adjustable it comes with several pieces that can screw on underneath there make it longer I have it on the shortest setting because who needs a giant freaking hand grip um, let's see what else I got the bad lever as you can see it's a uh, it's a nice little accessory actually it's pretty dark here get rid of this all right this might help a bit all right yeah so you can see the bad lever comes out right here I love this it's a nifty little accessory does does me some real good service of course I've got the Magpul's uh, I forget the name of that but you know the extended um, trigger well there so you know if you have gloved hands it helps out and I just like the extra space anyways. I mean, it's a nice thing to have. Um, as far as this goes, I mean, it's just a stock one with uh, three little ammo spots in it. Uh, I just threw three rounds in it just to demo it. But yeah, there you go. Holds three rounds. Kind of stupid. I figured maybe I'd put a, the bolt holder core in there. Figured that'd be kind of nifty. But of course, anyone who knows that these come with bolt holders, or that you can get it, then uh, I guess it's not really a trick at all. 
if someone tries to steal my shit. Um, what else? Let's see. Troy Battle Sites. I love these things. Far superior compared to my, well, not my, but compared to, um, like your average M4 sites. They seem to, you know, I like them. It's quite nice. Um, also, I've got the, uh, the rear on there. But I'll show you that after I show you this. I've got my EOTech XPS2. Um, I like it. I haven't shot with it yet. I don't have it zeroed. But it seems, I mean, for the price, it better be damn good. Then I've got my Sightmark um, magnifier here. It comes with this. Like, it's cheap, but I pretty much bought it for the sliding mount here. If you look at it, you just push it to the side here push it comes out lean it down snaps into place so there you go it's pretty nice um, the sight itself is pretty cheap I don't like it but you know I just bought it for the mount I could always get a new sight or I might just in the near future just sell the EOTech and the magnifier together and get an ACOG or something. Um, the rear sight, I like it. Besides, the only thing I don't like about this rear sight is when you store it down, it has to have your close combat optical up. I don't use that. I like the uh, long range optical, but when you try and put it down, it hits right there. It hits right there, so you, I mean, it's stupid. I just, you know, who, I'd rather have the long range sight be right here and the close range be right here. That way, when you bring it up, you're ready for long range because you don't need a close range. I mean, as far as iron sights go, whatever is in that damn circle, you just shoot. So, I don't know. I just don't like that long range. Um, what else do we have? Six hour upper is uh, gas piston operated. For those of you who don't know, Google it. Because <laughs> I don't feel like explaining it to you. I've still got the stock charging handle. Um, I plan on replacing that. I'm not a big fan of the uh, stock. I wanted to get an ambidextrous one. Also, I wanted a ambidextrous fire selector because, I don't know, you, you never know when you'll need to use your other hand, and, uh, yeah, just all in all seems like a good idea to get that. But, yeah, um, usually when I, like, reload or whatever, and I pull back on the firing handle, I like to use my right hand. Uh, I like to keep hold with my uh, left hand, and then just bring my right hand up, keep it resting on my shoulder, and just pull it back. But, you know, it's a little hard to do with the standard charging handle. I also have this little quick disconnect here. Um, I really <laughs> kind of pissed because I ordered all this stuff before I actually got to see anything. And uh, when I ordered this, I didn't know that underneath here, right next to the Sig Sauer emblem, there is already a quick disconnect. But I figured since it matches in color with everything else, I might as well throw it on since I already had it. Plus, these things are kind of hard to find. So, you know what? I got it. I'm going to flaunt it. Also, I like this uh, UBR buttstock because it's got two different mounting positions for the uh, quick detach. It's got one here right at the base of the buttstock and one back here at the end of the buttstock. That is really nice, especially with my... Um, my sling I've got here, this thing is wonderful. I, I fucking love this thing. This is a Savvy Sniper. Probably most of you haven't heard of them, but I had this custom made for me. They took my measurements, and they actually made it just for me. And uh, it works pretty awesome. I mean, I usually, like, here, let me attach it here. There you go. Nice sling. I 
love this thing. It's got the elastic part. I mean, it, it's a little, it's a little rough. So um, it's not too elastic, but just enough to you know make it count. It's got the quick slide to lengthen it out, and then uh, shorten it back up again. And then of course, it goes from a two point to a one point with a quick disconnect here. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? God, I love that. And then, you know, even though it's got the quick disconnects, it's got this all metal. Um, I like to call it the easier quick disconnect. I'm sure there's a technical name for it out there, and I knew it once, but my memory is horrible. But this thing is awesome. You just slide your fingers over it, and boom, it's out. Look at that. Just a little little nubby there that's all you gotta worry about I mean if you don't want it you could take it off here but I just leave it on just because you know I don't know it's easier that way I usually keep it in this one here um, for the one point I keep it in this one for the two point I put it in this one which is very nice because I use all three of these so you know I like that Magpul put two in here yeah, my trigger is a uh, Wilson Combat TR-TTU-M2, or dash M2. It's uh, pretty expensive, um, but, you know, I love it. It's a four-pound trigger. It, It's, I don't know, I, I've only used the standard military, like, the triggers that are in the uh, Colt M4s that they give to the military. And uh, this thing is far superior. I love it. Just barely any, just barely any trigger squeeze, and you got it. Like I don't like dry fires, but let me. Uh, I'll do this just once for you guys, cause I fucking love you. But look at this. Is that amazing or what? The other side, I'm not a big fan of customization, but I did get this. I mean, it's not some stupid zombie thing, so I'm proud of that at least. If you wish for peace, prepare for war. I like it. Kind of dumb, but, you know, fuck it. Future upgrades, of course, I would, my first one would have to be the uh, charging handle. I really want that ambidextrous one. Um, haven't decided on which one to get yet, but, you know, whatever, I, I, fuck, YouTube, best place ever to figure out what you want. And then, of course, um, the ACOG, um, I guess I'll play around with this for a bit. I haven't actually shot with it before, so, um, I guess I'll get out on the range or in the good old backyard test it out one of these days but uh yeah I'm kind of leaning more towards a uh, ACOG because I don't want to have to rely on batteries and you know 15 years of awesome self-lighting shit sounds awesome besides you know the whole radiation thing but we ain't got to worry about that oh and by the way this weapon is heavy but that's okay I like it I don't like light weapons because it makes it feel like you're carrying around a freaking Barbie toy or some shit. My brother has one, and his weighs probably less than half of what mine weighs. And I picked it up, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to break this thing. My brother's just got the regular hand grips here. No, um, he doesn't have the rail system or nothing. Plus, I've got all this extra crap on here, but I don't know. It's my rifle. I like it the way it is. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not sure what else to say here. I love it. If I could stick my penis in it somewhere, I would. But I can't. All right. I think that's it. Comments, concerns. Um, yeah, ladies, leave your phone numbers. Because, yeah, you know, what's up? All right. Later, YouTube.